You look like something from Jerkinator 2. Wait, I'm gonna... Wait a minute. You hate me. Of course, dummy. What do you think? Drilling on your shoes again, Henry. Oh, sorry. Look at her, Foster. Isn't she amazing? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, if you consider tight sweaters and wet lips amazing, she's, uh. She's pretty amazing. She's also Kevin Johnson's girlfriend. I don't understand how a beautiful baby Jane like that is gonna go to a dance with a geek like you. End of story. You're just being negative. You think? Come on, Henry, I told you, there are people who peak in high school and there are people who don't. They're up here and we're still down here. Two lines that will intersect only briefly at our 20th year reunion when they're fat and bald and we're rich and handsome. I swear to God, I would sell my soul to go out with Lori Petler. I could have given Mother Teresa to anybody. I gave her to you on a silver platter, and you blew it! Speak to me. Tina, when are you gonna give up looking for your contract? Jerry's never gonna tear it up. He's never gonna let you go. What do I have to do to get a latte around here? Time to feed the animal. Wendell, Wendell, Wendell. It's like I always say. Use a toaster, damn it! No, that's not what I always say. Were you born this stupid? Now then, are you gonna listen to those deadbeats playing bingo or moi? The only agent ever to sign a client his first day on the job. Good boy. Now, you get me that nurse's soul by midnight. He'll be back in sanitation faster than you can say hush. Listen to this very carefully. Give, give, give. It's all I ever do. What? I, I, I thought we could talk about my leaving here. I, 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 you thought wrong. Jerry, you tricked me. You said if I worked for you for a year, then you'd tear up my contract. I say so many things. Where's my contract, Jerry? Oh, what's a year, doll face, when you have all of eternity? But you promised! You know, if I had a heart, you'd be breaking it. What? Is your hand broken? Answer the phone! Dante's office? Get him down here now! Hits. How 
Not paying time attention. That time of the month again, Nance. You are fired, Jerry. Me me meaning what exactly? You let one go. I... I what? You destroyed the Veronica Chase contract, Jerry. She was a client of yours, I believe. Oh, oh that. Yes, well, I, I can explain, sir. Th that, that, that was an, an accident, actually. We had such high hopes for you, Jerry. I don't see any recourse but the boiler room. Oh, no, sir, please, not the boiler room. I'll, I'll do anything. Give me a second chance, please. You must bring me a soul to replace the one you lost. Yes, of course, yes, absolutely. Anyone. Who? Who? Sir, who? Yes. I want Henry Spooner. This little weenie? I've been after that little weenie's goody two-shoes family for centuries. I want this kid, Jerry. You'll get him if you know what's good for you. I'll get right on that, sir. Pleasure to... And will we be having fries with that today? Are you talking to me? I don't see any other handsome young man around here, except for maybe him. Let's see what we have so far, shall we, doll? That's popularity. Cha-ching. Lori Petlow. Cha-ching. And a side of fries. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Anything else? This is a joke, right? I've never been more serious in my life. Listen, hon, when I heard your insipid yet heartfelt adolescent angst, I said to myself, Jerry, darling, you gorgeous thing, you. Isn't it time that Henry Spooner got his slice of the cosmic pie? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think I'm that hungry anymore, so. Hey, listen, kid, we gotta talk. God. All right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. You're right. Uh, I'm going way too fast. I, I always do that. I guess it's just I hate to see someone with your stupendous potential lost at the bottom of the food chain. You know what I mean? Not a clue. Who the hell are you? Oh, oh, that's right. We, we haven't been properly introduced. I tell you what, let me get out of this ridiculous costume and, uh, well, Since you're a little wary, I don't blame you. In fact, I kind of like it. But you are the one that said you would sell your soul, aren't you? No. Well, yeah, I I, I didn't mean it. I was... You didn't. <laughs> oh, really? Well, you might mean it. Because here's what I'm going to do. Thank you, Regina. Isn't she marvelous? All right, then, Hank. Allow me to show you just how insanely fabulous your little miserable life could be. Henry. My name's Henry. Whatever. Because I can give you everything you've ever wanted. For example, I happen to know that when you were six years old, you wanted a pinball machine. Yes, it's a pinball machine. From Dickham and Kickham of Beverly Hills. Dickham and Kickham, makers of fine pinball machines. Since 1928, that's pinball. And it's all yours if you... Just say yes! But that's not all. I also happen to know when you turned 16, you had persistent thoughts about this. Tell me this doesn't float your boat, Henry. All you gotta do is just, just say yes! Oh, to be young again. <laughs> and what young lad your age hasn't fantasized about owning a brand new car? A brand new car! I love motorcycles. Uh, and how do you like them tomatoes? Yeah. Hear that, folks? He said, wow! Yeah. That's right, Henry. This can all be yours if you just, just say yes. yes! And sign this little contract. I can give you everything your little horny heart desires. Maybe I'll even throw it a set of steak knives. Uh, 
Well, what do you get out of all this? Oh, just your soul. But you won't have to worry about that for 60 or 70 years. And like my Uncle George always said, if it can't help you get chicks, who needs it? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. So, does this mean that you're from, uh, hell? And? And then that would mean that you're the, you're the... Oh, no, 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 you flatter me. Isn't he cute? No, no, I'm a mere servant of his unholiness, but you should consider me your very own personal agent, in the best sense of the phrase, of course. This is crazy. Yeah, but kind of a kicky crazy, don't you think? Yeah, um, w w now, no, I don't want to do any of this, I... Oh, 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 Henry, 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 babe, sweetheart, don't decide now, sleep on it. In the meantime, allow your Uncle Jerry to whip up a few things to show you just how fabulous I am. Wait, 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 like, like what? <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. You know, I would sell my soul for just... Don't... Are you crazy? Please take your hand off my mouth, thank you. Well, sir... Here's your lunch, and thank you for dining at Acadia Island. Dining? You call this hamburger dining? Come on, lady. Make me a real hamburger. Uh, Foster, come on. I'm sure you're all dying to learn the thrilling results of last week's essays on William Shakespeare's masterpiece, Hamlet. Ah, oh, but alas, poor Yorick. The news, sad to say, is bad. <laughs> Especially in light of the fact that the midterm is in two weeks. However, I think you will be pleased to learn there was one perfect grade achieved by Henry Spooner. Second place won by the formerly flawless Mr. Johnson. And as for the rest of you, better luck next time. So, now that you delightful savages have managed to utterly mutilate Hamlet, you undoubtedly will be pleased to know that your next project will be his shortest play. Uh, anyone have the slightest clue as to what I'm referring? Henry. Macbeth? <laughs> exactly. And as this is a story of political intrigue, I don't suppose we could guess the hero's fatal flaw? Uh, Mr. Johnson. Uh, what? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. The hero's flaw is ambition, Mr. Johnson. Occasionally a useful character trait. Uh, so I hear. <laughs> So, oh, speaking of ambition, don't forget, nominations for junior class president will be held at Thursday's assembly. Well done, Mr. Spooner. Thanks. me into coming here if you're just gonna sit in front of the mirror all night and play with your hair. I can't come in there looking like this. I look like... Since when were you a male model? When I got a love interest. A love interest? You mean Lori Petler? Get a girl. I just can't get her off my mind. You need a love interest, Foster. What is love? I mean, can you hold it in your hand? Can you touch it? You're telling me. <laughs> Jerry and Kevin. 
I think I got the hots for Peggy Doozer. Peggy Doozer? Get out of here. First, I put it down to my hormones kicking in, but then I had this blind realization that she's probably everything I could ever ask for in a woman. She's slim, she's smart, she's sexy, and she's got a motherboard to die for. Well, if you're that hot for her, why didn't you invite her to the dance? Oh, right, like you asked Lori Petler. Look, I can't just walk up to her. I mean, what am I going to say? I'm going to say, hi, uh, I'm Henry Spooner, and uh, you've ignored me for about 10 years, but uh, I'm president of the chess club. <laughs> Why don't you uh, dump Kevin King of the World Johnson, and we can ride off into the sunset, all right? <laughs> Got a point. OK. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look at the pretty boys. Wow. Max, I really don't want to trouble. Trouble? Oh, you mean my middle name. <laughs> Listen, you little spoon like your thumb. Ow. If I want to give you trouble, I will. You understand? Yeah, my hair is. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I realized in the past I might have made your life a little tough. Yeah, well, living hell, yeah. Well, just for a couple of years, right? Well, since kindergarten. But you see that? Do you see that, guys? You see that? We got a history together, man. You know? Guys like me and you, we got to stick together. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you okay? I mean, are you feeling all right? Yeah, well, it's just like all of a sudden I've got this amazing... I love feeling for you, man. Which means anybody, and I mean anybody, who hurls with Henry deals with us. Right, dudes? Yeah. Woo! Dude. Yeah. Something seem a little strange back there. Well, I guess Axe is just not such a bad guy. Come on, Henry. If Axe ever graduates, which I doubt, he'll be listed in the yearbook as person most likely to die in the electric chair. What are they doing? The baby dolls are all inside. Okay. This was fun. I'm about ready to go back to my house and have a little cereal eating session. Yeah, I could, I could definitely go for a session. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. Don't look now, but here comes Cinderella. Oh, God. Isn't she beautiful? What are we all doing out here? Come, 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 come. It's the shank of the evening. Miss Deucer, come. I need your help. Oh, God, no. Hi, Henry. Foster. Uh -huh. uh, shall we continue this in the gymnasium? No. Foster, are, are you all right? I... Uh. Oh, what did he say? Uh, he said he doesn't dance. He's, uh, we, we just don't dance. Oh, <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Miss Tuzer, would you do me the honor? Let's show them how it's done, shall we? Oh, this is just too much. 
And for what? Another day in hell? Oh, why not? God. Isn't she beautiful? It's your big chance, man. Why don't you cut in? Cut in? Are you kidding? I can't even speak English around her. Don't worry about it. Just let your feet do the talking. They are. They're saying, run, Foster, before you make a total ass of yourself. so smooth, why didn't she ask Lori to dance? She didn't even know I'm alive. Oh, ye of little faith. Hi, Henry. See you in English? Not bad for a dead guy. Mr. Diablo called to say he's waiting for a progress report. What does he expect from me? Miracles? I'm very busy here. All right, uh, I need time. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Well, you better. Okay, Jerry. I love you, baby. I love you, too. What are you doing? Bob Diablo. Hello, Mr. Diablo. Tina. Yes, sir. I gave him your message, and he told me to tell you, and I quote, that the flaming fruitcake can just wait until his office freezes over. Freezes over? That's right, sir. Flaming fruitcake? Fruitcake. Flaming. Really? Yes, sir. I appreciate your loyalty, Tina. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Have a bad day, Tina. And a bad day to you, too, sir. excited as I am to get started. <laughs> Was that you again, Mr. Schmidt? You really should see someone about that. <laughs> as you all know, candidates for junior class president must have a B-plus average or better and possess the leadership qualities necessary to lead this class into the future. Nominations are now open. I'd like to nominate Kevin Johnson. Yeah. All righty. Anyone else? Big surprise there. We gotta stop him. What? What do you... What? I nominate... Peggy Doozer. Peggy Doozer? <laughs> Peggy Doozer it is. Anyone care to make this a three-person race? Whoa, uh, yeah. I would, uh, like to nominate the most excellent Henry Spooner. Dude! <laughs> what? <laughs> no! No! Henry! Henry! Isn't this fun? He's not even a student! Henry! Henry! No! Hey, shut up! Nominations are close.
like hypothetically, if somebody that you didn't know suddenly gave you everything that you ever wanted. Like an episode of Genie. Yeah, well, yeah, kind of, sort of. Is she gonna be wearing that little hair thing? Because if she isn't, we're gonna have to think about it. <laughs> let's go, come on, let's go, right up here, let's get it going. All right, Ray's gonna be kicking and White's gonna be receiving. Johnson, you and DC take the kick off, okay? Right, Ken. And DC, try not to hurt yourself this time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, all right, all right. Hit it out there, let's go! Move it! Dog, man. <laughs> what happened to you? I don't know, it's my raging hormones. Hey! Give me the ball, dickweed! Henry, what are you doing? We gotta go. No, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Where, where you boys going? Chess club? Oh, that's nice. I'll write you a note. Uh, uh, how about you boys uh, playing ball with us? Oh, no, no. I, I don't think Foster and me are really cut out for football work. Do you love your school, Henry? No. Don't you want to see your team win on that battle out there? No, not really. How about a broken arm? Henry, you come with me. Foster, go get me some fries. Johnson, you're gonna be working with Spooner here. I've never seen anybody run like that. What you learn how to run like that? <sighs> Tough being a rookie, isn't it? I do have good news, though. Laurie and Kevin have broken up. You know what? Lori. Yeah, you know, no, 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 Lori. Get away from me. Tragic, I know. They were such a cute couple, didn't you think? I can't believe this. And yet it's true. Chili pepper? Hi, Henry. Hi. Nice run. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry to bother you. I just Oh, no, no, no. You're not. You're not bothering me. I'm... It's just that um I was wondering since I'm not doing very well in Shakespeare and everything and I know you're doing really well, so I was um I was kind of hoping that maybe you could I don't know. <laughs> maybe You want me to tutor you? Hey, Kev. What? Is that Lori over there with that ass wife spooner? Oh, man. I'm gonna pulverize that kook. I know it's a lot to ask, but would you mind? No. Well, what about what about Kevin? I mean, you know, he's acing English and... Sometimes all I think Kevin wants is a hood ornament. I could see him saying that. So what do you say? After practice? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, I would, yes, I would like to. Yeah. Great. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, how's it going with your baby doll? What are you doing? Chuck it up on my butt. You know why? Why? I'll tell you why. All right, wait a while. I got it. I'll tell you why. Because I care. You care? Very much. So, you ready to join the team? No, thanks. I'm not that athletic. I understand. 
You're thinking about it, though, right? I mean, that's good. You're thinking about it? Take all the time you need, Henry. I got all the time in the world. Mr. Mister, I want an ice cream. No, no, go away. We're out. How could you be out? What did I say? We're out, OK? There's nothing. Give me that. All right, let's take a look. Hey, look what we got here, huh? Yeah, how about that? Tabasco swirl? Yeah, it's the big hot seller. All the kids love it. Now, scram. Oh. Uh, OK, see you later. What else do you have? He wants to see what else I got. Hey, got some vanilla. There you go. Hey! Hey! No! saying is that everything that Hamlet is feeling is finally confirmed when he meets this ghost. Yes, yes, yeah. See, Shakespeare really isn't that hard to understand. I know, I just wish reading it were this easy. You know what I do sometimes when I'm stuck on a section? I just, uh, I read it out loud. Okay. And uh, it helps to hear. Okay. I'll read you a section and you tell me what it means. All right. Um, all right. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied, or with the pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pith and moment, with this regard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Okay, um, I think it means that if you know you're right, just stop thinking so much and just do it. Good. Okay. That's very good. Thank you. Good. Okay, give me another one. All right. Um, no. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. Doubt thou the stars are fire. Doubt that the sun doth move. Doubt truth to be a liar. But never doubt I love. That Shakespeare dude sure could write, huh? Henry, that was beautiful. Well, I should probably go. Wait, um, you're not leaving, are you? Well, you know, I sort of already told you everything I know about Hamlet. Good. I'm not telling you about Henry. I just don't get it. It's not like you, Henry. You know, you could have refused the nomination. I know, I know. It's just, uh, you know, the more I think about it, the more I kind of like the idea. <laughs> what? Come on, Foster. You know, with you as my campaign manager, how could we lose? But I was going to work for Peggy. Hey, I, Peggy. I, I don't understand how you're so suddenly hot to run for president and meet all these new people. Okay, well, look, you don't understand. All of a sudden, People are starting to notice me, and I like that. Now, what, popularity doesn't mean anything to you, right? Well, you're right, but that's because I learned a long time ago that people who peak in high school don't have anywhere to go. Yeah, you said that. Well, sorry for living. Foster. Hey! Hey! For Christ's sake.
Hi. Hi. Why are you so blue? Uh, I'm not. I'm... <laughs> um, do you mind if I sit down? Oh, no, please do. Can I ask you a personal question? You can ask me anything. What is it? Well, uh, seeing how uh, you and and uh, Kevin aren't, you aren't technically um, right now. No. no. Technically, you're not. No. Yeah. No. Okay. So, uh, well, I was just thinking that maybe, you know, well, I was thinking more maybe that uh, that I would go out with you. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Something like that, uh, yeah. I would love to. How Saturday? That's good. That's really good. That's, in fact, that's what I was thinking. Good, good. Um, okay. <laughs> He doesn't think you're doing a very good job, Jim. It's been a year since you snagged anybody. Yes, but uh, who was it that I snagged, Tina? Hmm? It was you, wasn't it? Oh, I did something special to snag you, didn't I, Tina? Hmm? But what was it that you did? No, Jerry. Please. Oh, yes. You betrayed your best friend, didn't you? You thought only of yourself, didn't you, Tina? And for what? For some selfish little gain that revealed who you really are. A person of deliciously low character, willing to sell your soul, because character takes hard work, doesn't it, Tina? Wait a second, wait a second, that's it, that's it. That's perfect. You can't go on a date with Lori Petler looking like this. I can't. You are so far off the geeko meter. You're giving me a nosebleed. Ugh, you need some new clothes. Ugh. I don't have time to get new clothes. Absolutely divine of you to drop by. It's Henry, everyone! Daniele. Daniel. Danny. Hi. Let me guess. We got dressed in the dark again, didn't we? Jerry, I gotta talk to you. I okay, have... first of all, rule number one, we don't grab Versace, we coax it. Why do you have that red scarf on? Oh, you were discussing fashion with me. You were stiff. Sit, 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 sit. Magic time, people! Whoa! What is all this? Oh, let's call it kismet, or serendipity, or way overdue. Ow! Go with the pain, Henry. Feel the pain. Well, uh, you sure, uh, this is a good idea? Oh, no, 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 no. You were perfect the way you are, and who wants to be popular? Hello? Well, it's not that I'm not grateful. Oh, no. What child would ever be ungrateful? Whew. All right, back, back, back. Let me see. See, now suddenly there's that je ne sais quoi, n'est-ce pas? And shoulders, too. Who knew? Thanks. What do you think? Cool. Never cool. Ha. You know, Foster told me that I'm compromising my principles to get people to like me. Oh, so what's Foster now? Amish? How nice for him. Someday he'll be able to grow a beard and it'll all make sense. You know, I can't afford all this. Don't worry about price. Price we can fix. 
I don't know. I don't think it's me. Of course it's not you, the old you, the geek nobody wanted on the team. Right? You were like Romeo without Juliet. Cleopatra without the right shoes. Hmm. Well, I get your picture. Okay, stand for me. Stand, stand, stand. Chair away, away with the chair, please! I'm not paying them enough. This is fabulous. No. Fabo. Let's take a look at that end scene. Hey! Oh, we have issues, don't we? So, better to sign? I don't know, man. You don't know. You don't know? I'll tell you what I know. What do I have to do to close this deal? Well, I'm just kind of a little uh, uneasy about the whole devil thing. Oh, that. All right, well, then let's just consider this yet another freebie from your Uncle Jerry, from me to you with love. Wow. Thanks. Gotta go. See ya. You will, dear boy. You will. Um, okay, I, I just want... wanted... Sorry. No, you talk. Please, you talk. Um, okay. I was just gonna say that... If it hadn't been for Mr. Creighton scaring me in English, I might never have found out how incredible you are. <laughs> oh, uh, that's... Uh, wow. Uh, th you know, I'm really not that incredible. No, I? <laughs> Henry, you're wrong. I've always wanted to meet someone who was different, you know? Someone who didn't care about popularity and all that cheerleader stuff. and could just see me for who I really am. And someone exactly like you. License and registration, please. Gonna have to ask you to step out of the vehicle, sir. I'll just be one. How's you going in there, big guy? Are you nuts? What are you doing? Well, I was just about to... I'll tell you what I'm doing. We got some paperwork to take care of. Paperwork? Hello? Hell to Henry. Hell to Henry. Do you read me? The contract? Oh, that. Yeah. <sighs> Look, I've been thinking. Go for it, kid. I'm starting to feel like uh, maybe I can uh, pull this kind of stuff off on my own. You know? Maybe I... Uh, why do I have to sign a contract when I already have everything I want? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Uh, no. But it's not that I'm not grateful, because I am. Honestly, I, I, I'm i grateful. But, you know, I, uh, I'm starting to feel like, you know, Lori kind of likes me for me. You know? And uh, I'm starting to feel more confident, and I bet you I could probably win that election without your help. Really? Yeah. Well, let me uh, hit you to something if I could. You've only been witnessing a few small steps of what could be a lifetime of success. Why settle for chump change when you can shoot for the whole enchilada? The whole enchilada? The White House? God, don't look so surprised. It's happened before many times. So if you sign... Now, tonight. Don't do it, Henry. Sky's the limit. I, uh... I'm gonna pass. <laughs> but no hard feelings, okay? Feelings? Oh, I gave it my best shot. You know, 
was one thing they said about Jerry Dante. He said, I don't hold a grudge. You know, you're a prince. Ah, go on. No, I mean it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're free to go. Thanks. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. Everything's fine. Um, Lori, I have to tell you something. I'm... Henry, you can hurt now. Yeah, I, I was, I just was, uh... I think you're the most incredible guy I've ever met. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Give me that. Having fun back in high school, Jerry? I don't have time for your petty sarcasm, Tina. That boy had the gall to say no to me. And now, he's gonna pay. Big time. Oh yeah? How? Have you forgotten who wrote the book on dirty tricks? Dirty tricks by Jerry Dante? Catchy. Mm -hmm. By the time I'm through with Henry Spooner, he's gonna be so in awe of my mighty wrath, he'll crawl on his hands and knees over 10 miles of broken glass, begging to sign his contract. <laughs> yeah, it's that master ceremony, G Sleep. I'll bring you for smoke continuously. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about what happened, all right? It's just, you're like a brother to me, you know? Yeah, man. Brother in the Arctic Circle. <sighs> Look, I, I know that all, a lot of this is kind of new and everything, but you're my best friend. You'll always be my best friend. And, you know, we should just work it out, okay? Come on. Just don't forget who your real friends are, man. How could I do that, huh? Come on. Come on. Just a little bit. All right. Now, I've been working on some campaign slogans, Oops. and I have a... Hey, hey. What's up, fellas? What's up, man? How you doing, guy, huh? So, Henry, what's gonna be our campaign strategy? Well, uh, you know, I haven't thought about that much, but uh, Foster was... So here's just... how I see it. Piggy the Doozer is clearly not a threat. Piggy the Doozer. Uh, yeah, well, Piggy, uh, Peggy is, uh, you know, she's pretty smart. She, she could make a good president. Yeah, and since when does that have anything to do with it? Besides, Doozer is a loser. <laughs> That's good. You like that? Yeah. Doozer, a loser. Come here, baby. So now that the Doozer's history, all we gotta do is scope out Johnson while you, Henry, my boy, do your little charisma thing. Huh? Okay. All right. All right. Um, well, now, you guys aren't gonna break any of the rules or anything, right? Rules? Oh. Huh. Okay. My rules. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> good, good, good. your fault, you know. What? You nominated me in the first place. Yeah, but that's because you're the best person for the job, Peggy. Yeah, well, as of now, I quit. You can't. <laughs> Look, whoever did that stuff to your posters is gonna count on you giving up. Yeah, but who could have done something like this? I don't know. Listen, have you finished your speech yet? All I have so far is an outline. Toss it. I'm gonna write you a speech that's gonna knock their socks off. But aren't you working for Henry? Uh, not anymore. A speech, a speech, thy kingdom for that speech. Poor little Peggy. Personal, like something that matters only to Jerry. Cruelty to small animals. Jerry matters most to Jerry. Try it. <laughs> ah! His agent's license. Incriminating office photograph. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> What's this? Oh. My darling Jerry, I can't believe it. After five years in this horrible place, I'm finally gonna get out of here thanks to you. Please do not change your mind, for I know you will truly love me the moment my contract goes up in flames. I shall never forget you for this, Veronica Chase. We got him! Who's Veronica Chase? He always said he destroyed her contract by accident. Jerry, in love. Now, there's a really scary picture. Not as scary as what'll happen if Bob finds out. <laughs> Tina. Is it? What are you gonna do? Oh, I don't know yet. I'll think of something.
Bingo. Needs a little work. It'll do. Here's the plate. Here's the plate. Uh, Spooner, you're going to take the kickoff, all right? Warren, DC, you guys going to block that first line, all right? Reagan, I want you to set up that next wedge. You got that? And men, your job is to... Yeah! yeah. You'll sign if you know what's good for you. I'm not gonna sign. It's your funeral. Careful, Spooner. People get hurt playing football. Eat me, Johnson. Say your prayers, asswipe. I mean, I, I don't really know that much about the game. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, in fact, I don't even really like it. I, uh... You are so humble. Yeah, well, you know, I really have to go, so it was nice seeing you. Where do you think you're going? God, Lori, I thought you were dating Henry. You are disgusting. We weren't. You know, just... whatever, honey, just drop dead, okay? No. Ow. Nothing is worth all this, Foster. Should have thought about that before. What do you mean by that? Look, I don't know what your game is, Henry, but uh, I don't want to be a part of it. How can you say that? Uh, th this is me, Henry, your friend. Friends don't draw mustaches on other friends' girlfriends' pictures. I didn't do that. You know, suddenly I see your posters everywhere, and somebody just happens to deface all of Kevin and Peggy's posters. How do you explain that? Maybe I asked it. Look. I had nothing to do with it, okay? And if my best friend doesn't believe in me, you know, there is a crowd of people out there that would love to take your place. Good. Because as of this minute, I'm working for Peggy Doozer. Fine. Good. Grudges. Did I say that? Yes, I lied. Oh, I'm sorry, Henry. What I did was wrong. Just try to see it from my side, will you, babe? I mean, I was kind of hurt when you turned me down at first. Can't really blame a girl for trying to get a little revenge, can you? Oh, well. You know, 
you've got it in spades. Yeah, in the past few days, I lost my best friend, my new girlfriend, nearly my life, and, and not to mention this whole, uh, you know, naked in the hallway thing. <laughs> yes, well, this is serious, isn't it? Hmm, well, you know, I suppose there's really only one thing you can do to redeem yourself. What's that? Judgment day, buddy boy. I can't believe this. You tricked me. I thought you said that you didn't care about the contract. You said that you just wanted to help me. I suppose I'd put on a grass skirt and do a Hawaiian mating dance if I thought it would work. I got other appointments. Sign, please. Guess it comes down to whether getting what I want is worth compromising everything I believe in, huh? That's right. And it is, for the record. Always. Now then, because I like you so very much, as an added bonus, I'm gonna win you that election fair and square. I'm gonna write you a speech so fabulous, it'll have them standing in the aisles. What about Lori? Do I get her back? Consider it done. Congratulations, Mr. President. This is the moment you've all been waiting for, the Candidates Forum. First, we're going to be hearing from Kevin Johnson on how he would improve the school if he is elected. Kevin? I'd like to start by listing off all the reasons why you should elect me president. First of all, I'm not bad to look at. Um, okay, there's some other stuff here. Um, I would vote to have a shorter school day. And because of my intense involvement with the uh, football team, I've seen what a winning season can do for the morale of the school. Okay, um, what else here? I firmly believe that if we raise money for the football team, the school will benefit in a lot of, a whole lot of different ways. Th thanks a lot. Yeah! Uh, very revealing. Read this. It's killer. Our next candidate is Henry Spooner. Ideas are going to be quite as inspiring as Kevin's, but <laughs> I owe it to the little people to give it a shot. Um, okay. I believe that to make this a better school, we have to be exactly who we are. Uh, some of the candidates see us as coming from different junior highs, 
staying in our little cliques. But I don't think that's true. I think we're already together. I think we're already one junior class. I think we're already destined to do great things. Let's face it, this whole election is nothing more than a popularity contest. During my brief time at Acadia, I've known what it's like to be unpopular, to be made fun of, to know that no matter how hard you try, nothing you say is going to make a difference. How could you do it, Henry? Uh, in fact, I figured out that there are those of us who peak in high school and those of us Problem. This is Foster's speech. Hey, I changed a few words. All right, I gotta admit it. Little weasel can write. Foster's my best friend. I'm just good at being bad. It's what I do. You know, you told me that everything was gonna work out just fine. You said... Oh, no, no, no. I said I would make you president and give you popularity. Look up there, your fantasy babe. Give her a look right now, huh? She's yours and the presidency and whatever else you want. What else do you want? What about Foster? Well, some people you just can't buy. I don't think I can do this. Well, I think you're blowing it, but quite frankly, I don't really care. I held up my end of the bargain. The rest is pretty much up to you. By the way, thanks for your saw. When you get downstairs, anything you need, promise me. to be true to themselves and know that popularity is never important enough to betray to betray friends. Are you all right, Henry? No. speech. He, uh, I mean, I stole this speech from Foster and Peggy. This is Peggy's speech. Tina! I'm back. Welcome back, Chair. Thank you, Tina. It's nice to be back. Fresh air is wreaking havoc on my clothes. 
Aren't you going to ask me how it went? We watched. Great family viewing. And you caught every single shining cinematic moment. I was so blindingly fast. So insanely fabulous. <laughs> that little jerk didn't even know what hit him. The contract, signed, sealed, almost delivered. What are you up to? I thought if I was gonna be stuck here, I might as well make it livable. Uh-huh. All right, then. One, I want that contract put in a safe place. Two, I want those clothes dry cleaned and back here in 15 minutes. And three, find something else unpleasant to do. <laughs> now what? Hey. Hey. Hey, Henry. Who are you? Where's Jerry? I'm Tina. I work for Jerry. It's not exactly a glowing reference, you know. I said I work for Jerry. I didn't say I like him. I want to help you. I swear to God. You know, you're much better looking in person. Thanks. Why do you want to help me? After everything you've been through, it kind of reminded me of me. <laughs> what do you really want, Henry? I want to be Henry Spooner again. I want things to be the way they were before, you know? Having everything you want sucks. I want my best friend back. I want to get bad grades again. And I want a girl to like me because she really likes me, you know? That's all I want. Where are you going? I have to get back. I, I thought you were going to help me. I am. And thank you for helping me. to do to get a lot pay around here? Get it yourself, dirtbag. I'm sorry. Were you talking to moi? <laughs> yeah. My, my, my. What an alarmingly moronic display of independence. Or perhaps the boiler room is starting to look good to you. No, but I do want my freedom, Jerry, and I'm willing to make a deal. Oh. You poor, dear, stupid child. In order to make a deal, one must have something with which to bargain. You, sadly, have nothing! Wrong again, you little weasel. As a matter of fact, I do have something. A big something. Do tell. This is the evidence that will not only put you in the boiler room, but will probably have you sharing a bunk bed with Hitler. While I admire the pathetic attempted style, I must admit, I think you're bluffing. <laughs> Bob won't think so. I think you'll find this particular document very informative. What are you talking about? Uh, does Veronica Chase ring a nasty little bell? Bob already knows about that. It was an accident. Yeah, I know that's what we told Bob, but is that the truth? You don't have anything to prove that it isn't. What were her exact words? I will know you truly love me the moment my contract goes up in flames. 
That was a delusional woman. Yeah, you gotta be kidding. I mean, that letter is proof of nothing. Such a shame when sex brings a good man down. Must a touch. Give it to me. All I want is my freedom in exchange for this letter, Jerry. When hell freezes over. blackmail your boss, you must always remember to keep the original. I have to remember that. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> now then, you see that phone there? In a couple of minutes, it's going to ring. Bring. It's going to be Bob. Bob's going to want the contract. I'm going to put the contract on Bob's desk. Then, Bob's going to want to know what he can do to make his favorite agent happy. I'll ask for the usual perks, of course. Bigger office, better view, competent, more voluptuous secretary. And then I'm going to request that you be transferred to purgatory. A fetus <laughs> A rocket scientist you aren't. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> it wasn't easy this particular time. You know, that kid may have looked like a big nothing, but he, he was one crafty little son of a... No, Jerry. I got it right here, sir. I got the... What the... What burned, Jerry? You burned Henry's contract, you idiot. Mr. Shakespeare is already deceased. Because the results of this quiz would surely have killed him. Only one person in this class managed to get a perfect score. Congratulations, Mr. Johnson. All right. Kevin! You rock! You, you, uh... You did it. You, uh, you're very, you're very smart. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for you. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> C minus. That's, that's good. Uh, it's not good, but that's, uh, got a C minus. I 
I can't believe I let you talk me into this, man. You're just gonna sit there in front of the mirror all night and play with your hair. I just can't go in there looking like this. Since when were you a male model? When I got a love interest. A love interest? You mean Lori Pedler? Get a grip. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look at the pretty boys. Wow. Max, I really don't want any trouble. <laughs> trouble? Oh, I see. You mean my middle name? Listen, you little spoon like. If I want to give you trouble, I will. Do you understand? Do you get it? We did not go through all this just to leave. All right? Come on. If Fax ever graduates, which I doubt, he'll be listed in the yearbook as person most likely to die in the electric chair. Yeah. Don't look now, but here comes Cinderella. What? God. Isn't she beautiful? What are we all doing out here? Come, 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 come. It's the shank of the evening. Miss Dusa, come. I need your help. Oh, God, no. Hi, Henry Foster. Uh. What did he say? Uh, he said he doesn't dance. He's, uh, we, we just don't dance. Oh, is that all? <laughs> Miss Tuzer, would you do me the honor? Let's show them how it's done. Shall we? Big chance, Foster. Why don't you cut in? <laughs> cut in? I can't even speak English when I'm around her. Eh, don't worry about it. Just let your feet do the talking. No way. I can't. Foster, I think it's about time you started working on that peak you're always talking about. Maybe you're right. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Henderson. 
I'm not bugging you right now, am I? Oh, um, <laughs> no, it's no bother. I, uh... Would you dance with me? I would love to. Really? Yeah. <laughs> But the hardest part is letting go right now. Are you looking for me? Mm-hmm. How's it going, Pete? Good. So what do you think? Can I get out of here now? Yes. I can? Uh-huh. Why now? It's time. You burned Henry's contract instead of yours. You didn't have to do that. Oh. You did a good thing. Thank you. Welcome.